State University has been awarded a grant that will help pay for research that could lead to groundbreaking treatment for type 1 diabetes. News 10's Justin Kent went to the lab and tells us what the research team hopes to accomplish. For many who suffer from type 1 diabetes, constant day-to-day -day management is required. New research at Michigan State University will look into how beta cell transplants could be an answer that would limit that management and possibly arrive at a cure. There are a number of transplant technologies and they would act as a cure, at least temporarily. Uh, nobody's saying that this is a permanent solution, but for months to years it could be and ultimately it could be a cure, yes. A new imaging machine will allow researchers to monitor the beta cells to see if the transplant is working. One of the MSU students who works with the new tech says she deals with dietary restrictions to manage her blood sugar. I have a pre-diabetes uh, half a year ago, but now I'm good now uh, by changing the diet. Uh, but if we have particles, I will dose myself with the particles. I will be better much faster. <laughs> $750,000 has been awarded to Dr. Smith's team. He says one of the issues to the beta cell transplant is the potential for the immune system to attack the transplant cells. Dr. Brian Smith, who will lead the new research, says they now have the ability to observe this process and figure out what is going to be most effective. But what we are working on doing is developing an imaging or immunoimaging technology that can visualize whether or not the immune system is attacking a transplant within the first few hours or days after the transplant. Alriza Amenroya, who will be one of the nine people working on the research, said he had a relative recently die too young because of diabetes. Actually, it it's um, one of the main motivation for me that I see the potential impact of this work, which can uh, improve and benefit lots of patients. With a new focus on improving beta cell transplant, Michigan State University hopes to play a part in finding a possible cure for type 1 diabetes. Reporting in East Lansing, Justin Kent, News 10. The Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation has provided the grant to MSU. The organization was established back in 1970 by parents determined to find a cure for children diagnosed with type 1 diabetes.